Good morning, Sunday Club, and welcome to another Sunday Club Online. How are we all feeling this week? Good? Bad? Somewhere in the middle? I know I've been feeling like this, like this, like this. Don't really know. But one thing's for sure, this week has gone really quickly for me. I can't believe it's Sunday already. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to tell you a really cool story today about how Jesus stopped a storm. Um, I wanted to share it with you because it kind of feels like we're in a bit of a storm at the moment. Everything seems a bit crazy, a bit loud, a bit, we just, we don't know what's happening and we can feel a bit scared. But knowing that we've got Jesus on our side to stop and calm a storm is pretty awesome. So for this story i want you to imagine something for me uh i don't know how many of you have ever been on a boat trip or perhaps you've been on the little rowing boats in nairsborough it's a little bit like jesus and his uh, followers so think of that whilst i read these words to you so from our bible this is from mark um mark 4 35 so it actually follows on um, from the story about the mustard seed that I read last week. Okay, so Jesus stops a storm. That evening, Jesus said to his followers, come with me across the lake. He and the followers left the people there. They went in the boat that Jesus was already sitting in. There were also other boats with them. A strong wind came up on the lake. The waves began coming over the sides of the boat. It was almost full of water. Jesus was at the back of the boat, sleeping with his head on a pillow. The followers went to him and woke him. They said, teacher, do you care about us? We will drown. Jesus stood up and commanded the wind and the waves to stop. He said, be quiet, be still. Then the wind stopped and the lake became calm. Jesus said to his followers, why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? The followers were very afraid and asked each other, what kind of a man is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. But of course, you and I know what kind of man Jesus is. And he is the son of God. He's also our friend. He's also our helper. And he's also a teacher. And here, he can also stop the wind. How amazing is that? So I guess what this story shows us in uncertain times when we might be feeling a little bit scared, Jesus has always got us. We might think he doesn't care about us because he's sleeping and got his head on the pillow, but he does care and he is there and he will help us through. Now today's craft activity um, is to help us to remind us of this story. Now, it's a little bit tricky, um, so you will need an adult to help you because um, there's some scissors, but it's up and down, so I don't want you to uh, cut your fingers. So the um, activity we are making is this. And I'm sure you can do it a lot neater than me. Um, so we're going to make... Oh, let's put it through. This boat um, on this on these waves and then we can pull the boat on the choppy waves so the storm and then it goes calm like this with Jesus okay so to make this craft um you'll just need some card um, a lollipop stick some sellotape and some scissors so what I want you to do is to take your card and then on the card with a pencil, I want you to draw two lines. Um, so one at the top and one at the bottom. Now on this top line, I want you to draw a wiggly line like this. And then a straight line about a centimetre underneath. And then with a sharp pencil, you want to make holes. 
in it. Um, like that. And then with your scissors, so this is where you'll need your adult to help you, is you want to put them in the hole like this and then start cutting um, around the shape. It's all right if it goes jagged. I mean, I'm probably saying that because I'm going jagged, so I'm trying to make myself look better. Um, but it is okay if it goes jagged because it represents a stormy sea. Um, so once you've done that, you should have this kind of shape because you've done the bottom one as well. So it'll, it will pop out. So just make sure you've got some room at the edges. And then on your piece of card, then I want you to draw, to so get some blues and some greys and draw some waves, some rocky, stormy waves. And then where the line goes flat and calm is you can just do some nice still waves and a sunshine. Could even put some fish in there. And then on a separate piece of card, if you uh, draw the elements of a, um, a boat. So I've got the main body there and the sail there and then cut around them. And then with a lollipop stick, um, you can attach it with um, some sellotape there and there. So there we go. There's my boat. And then with your stormy picture, um, you just need to tuck it in and then tuck it round. So it should drop and fit. And there we go. So this can remind us of when there was a storm and it was all jaggedy and the, the followers were afraid but then Jesus gets up and he commands the wind to stop and all is nice and calm and perhaps you could write that story in your niece's handwriting um, on the bottom as well so that was mark 435 there Okay, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's Sunday Club. Uh, don't forget you can send me your pictures or again, let me know what you'd like to talk about next week. Um, but for now, as always, we will just end on prayer. Uh, so, hands together, eyes closed. Dear Lord, thank you for all that you do for us. Thank you that you care for us. And we're sorry that sometimes we don't always know that. We can't always tell that you do care for us. But we know you are the one who stops the storm and all is calm because of you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Cinder Club. And I will see you next week. Mwah.